Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Let's see what we can code in 5 minutes at Zim. We'll go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And we made a sprite walk around. I'll show you. There he is. That's a sprite walking in a scene, but he's not interactive. So maybe we can make this guy interactive so that either follows the keyboard or follows our mouse and perhaps we can do that in five minutes shall we give it a go so let's take a look at the last code we had here it is we had a bunch of scrollers with a sprite in the middle of it and now we were going to try and make that interactive Okay, let's start the timer now. Here we go. Mm. First thing we want to do is add all these things to an accelerator. So const excel is equal to a new accelerator. And that will allow us to handle all of these things at once. And they'll go right in this array. So the accelerator will let us, with one controller, change all of these speeds. And so we'll copy those. Actually, we won't copy them. We'll cut them. So that's all of what we had before. Uh, but instead of semicolons here, we're going to turn those semicolons into commas. Comma, except we don't need one in the end there. So we're adding the scroller, another scroller, another scroller, and a sprite. Also, we don't put the sprite directly in there, but rather we put the sprite, because the sprite runs at a certain speed at this time. So we put the sprite in what's called a dynamo, a new dynamo. A dynamo is a sprite that can have a, a variety of speeds. So the dynamo, the sprite we want for that, will be this new sprite indeed. So we've added the sprite to the dynamo. We won't want, we'll want to send a regit, but we won't want to run the sprite itself. We'll let the dynamo do that. So we'll take away all of that stuff. We've got a sprite. We'll center regit. Great. This is all in the dynamo still. So after our center reg, we then set the speed of the dynamo. And we can set that speed to, say, 30. We say what label we want to run, and that's walk. So the dynamo can specify a label to run. Whether we want to flip this to go back and forth, and we want this to be able to go left and right. So reversible means that he would be, um, go, if we set reversible true, that means he would actually walk backwards. Uh, we don't want him moonwalking. So we'll set reversible reversible to false and we do want to flip him so flip colon true those are the things of the dynamo let's see we started the dynamo there did we end the dynamo anywhere no we didn't so we'll end the dynamo squiggly brackets round brackets comma and then the scroller so here's the dynamo and then the next scroller all of that stuff is in the accelerator and shall we have a look? It shouldn't really change it too much. We refresh here. Whoop. Uh, nope, we can't tell any difference, and I think that's a good thing. <laughs> so uh, we will then, in that case, um, add the motion controller. So a uh, motion controller will either let us do keyboard controls or even gamepad controls. If you had a gamepad thing, you could hook it up here. So it looks like this, a new motion controller. And we will say that the target that we're wanting to do, I think that's the, um, yeah, it's the target. Target is the Excel. That's our accelerator. We also want to say what type. So how about we'll try a, let's do the, um, mouse move to start mouse move so just based on where our mouse is moving it'll go forward or backwards and we'll set a speed of 30 on it uh, as well as we want for an accelerator like this we need a min percent speed and a max percent speed so the speed is actually the speed that the controller will control how it sets the speed. <laughs> it's kind of a, a funny thing. But anyway, so we, we do want a min percent speed. 
of um, minus 200. Now that will mean that we'll go twice as fast in the negative and then we also want a max percent speed of 200 as well. You can play around with this as well uh, to suit, suit however you want there. Okay, and let's see how it goes. That should work um, on the mouse movement now. So yeah, there I am going left. See that? Now I'm going right. And if I go into the middle here, it slows down. Isn't that neat? So let's just try it with the key, the keyboard. With a keyboard, we would say key down like that. And we also only want it to go in the horizontal. So the X axis um, in the horizontal. Uh, quote horizontal like that. And let's stop that timer. Whew. Did we make it? Let's see. Refresh here. And we key down now. Yeah, and sure enough, there it goes walking, and I'm keying the other way, and it's turning the other way as well. Cool, huh? So you can imagine this being a game now. We can also add some some jumps in there and stuff like that, and some shooting. Pew, pew, pew. We do have a shoot cycle. There you go. This has been... Uh, did you want to just take a peek at the code? We went really quickly there, didn't we? But you can always find this code up at uh, zimjs.com slash five. And that's all of the code in five minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and we just made that scene interactive in five minutes. Good luck finding a framework where you can do that. Ciao.